Hello everyone. Hope you have completed all the problems which we have discussed earlier. Today we are going to project a pentagonal pyramid in basic position and inverted position. So let's move to the problem. Draw the isometric projection of a pentagonal pyramid of base side 30 mm and axis of 60 mm resting on its base on HP with one of its base side parallel to VP and nearer to observer. As you can see, it's a pentagonal pyramid. It has a pentagonal base and five identical triangular faces. Coming to the constraint part, the solid is resting on its base on HP. So the solid is resting on its base on HP or you can say the base pentagonal base is contained by HP with one of its base side parallel to VP. So one of the edge, one of its base side is parallel to VP and nearer to observer. So the side which is parallel to VP is also nearer to observer. Or you can say it is near to observer. In other words, you can say the same side which is parallel to VP is also away from VP. So this is the position where the solid is resting on its base on HP and edge of its base is parallel to VP and away from VP also the same is near to observer. Now for construction work we have to start the work from its base. So we have to project this pentagonal base first along ISO horizontal plane somewhere here and then we will mark the apex and we will join all the generators. First of all we have to draw the helping figure of its base which is a regular pentagon of size 30 mm but here we have to take ISO 30 isometric length corresponding to 30 for the construction of the helping figure. So taking ISO 30 for construction and drawing the pentagon. Next, we have to enclose this pentagon inside a box, inside a box by drawing lines parallel to and perpendicular to the first base side. So taking this side as first base side and drawing lines parallel to and perpendicular to it. from all the corners of the pentagon. So this is the helping figure. Now we have to find the center of this pentagon. For finding the center, we have to join corners, any two corners to opposite midpoint. So this is the center. Now we have to mark the dimensions of this box. Long and perpendicular to the base. The dimensions are x and y also we have to draw the center line and we have to show the distance of the center or you can say location of the center y dash now, we have to project this pentagonal base over here by projecting the helping box here and we have to keep the first side, first base side along first iso axis. So taking x, x along first iso axis, this will be the length and y along second iso axis. And then we have to draw lines 
parallel to first and second iso axis from both these points. So first line parallel to first iso axis and second line parallel to second iso axis. Now we have to mark all the corners of pentagon over here. So starting from the first point, so this is the first point of the box. Say corners are A, B, C, D and E. So this is the distance of A from the first corner. This is A. Now from A to B, A to B, then from the corner to C, this is the distance, corner to C, corner to D, corner to D, and corner to E. So these are five points of its space. Also we have to draw the axis by taking y dash, y dash along second iso axis. This will be the distance. Now drawing center line parallel to second iso axis from D to the center point or from D parallel to second iso axis. Next we have to draw the solid axis by drawing line parallel to the third iso axis. And here the length of the axis is 60 mm. So we have to take iso 60 using isometric scale we have to take iso 60 for axis. So drawing line from the center parallel to third iso axis or a vertical line of length iso 60. So this is the apex point. Now we have to join all the corners from the apex. First corner or you can say the corner which is visible is to be joined. Next, A to O to say B. And here, point E lies outside the generator. So, D, O, is also a visible generator here. So, this is the final projection. Now, if we change the problem by adding in inverted position So the new problem is draw the isometric projection of pentagonal pyramid in inverted position. All other things are same. Position of the solid in new case will be this. So this is the final position where the side and edge of its base is parallel to BP. Base is contained by HP or base is resting on HP and the solid is in inverted position. So here what we have to do is we have to draw the axis in downwards direction. The only change which we have to do is we have to draw the axis in downwards direction. So again repeating the process for the second case we have to draw axis parallel to 
the third iso axis but in downwards direction this is the apex and we have to join apex from all the corners and these are hidden generators and now we have to remove this part of initial position or initial case and here all the edges of the base are visible edges so this is the final projection now for dimensioning we have to show the side or edge so draw extension lines parallel to second iso axis for the base also show the axis by drawing extension lines parallel to first iso axis and dimensioning line parallel to the solid axis sixty and here thirty also we have to show the direction of viewing or direction of observation so this is the final answer here the base is contained by hp and an edge of its base is parallel to vp now further if we change the problem statement say the solid is resting on its apex on hp solid is resting on its apex on hp so for the new condition this will be the final position edge of its base is parallel to vp and the solid is resting on its apex so for this position what we have to do is again we have to draw the base pentagon here or you can say the helping box and we have to locate the center then we have to draw lines parallel to third iso axis for the given length of the axis which is 60 or you can say iso 60 iso 60 then next we have to mark the upper base by taking distance of iso 60 iso 60 so we'll mark all points like this next we have to locate all the corner points on the upper base or just we have to project them by drawing parallel lines or lying parallel to third iso axis so we will get c d e and a next the axis so this is the center line this is the base center and for the last case this will be the solid axis from the upper base center to the lower base center here 
in its base or you can say on horizontal plane only apex will be there so again all the sides or edges are visible we have to join all corners from the apex so these are three visible outlines these are visible generators and this is the final answer here for dimensioning again we have to extend lines parallel to first iso axis and for axis extension parallel to first iso axis and dimensioning line parallel to vertical iso axis or parallel to the solid axis so this is the final answer for third case so here for the same dimension we have three different cases out of which in the first case the base is resting on hp and edge of its base parallel to bp near to observer this is the final position in the second case for a inverted pentagonal pyramid the solid is resting on its base edge of its base and edge of its base is parallel to bp or near to observer and is in inverted position so this was the case and in third case the solid is resting on its apex so the pentagonal pyramid is resting on its apex on hp and an edge of its base is parallel to bp or you can say in front of observer so these are three different cases and this is the final answer for the last case so i will request you to please solve all three cases in your sheet thank you